Okay, so the next exercise here is a, is a band resisted jump. Um, and what we're going to do here, all you need is to tie it to either something stable again or use a partner. And we're going to step into the band this time and have it around your hips. And the reason for that is as we jump out, the band's actually going to get tighter and take away some of that landing load for us, but it also makes you jump a little bit harder because you know that there's going to be tension pulling you back, okay? So all we're going to do is step into the band, put it right around your hips and take a little step forward so there's already tension on you. And we're just going to sink and jump as far forward as you can and land nice and strong. And then the next progression of that is to go sideways. So what we're going to do this time is take the band just on the side of your hips and we're going to stand on the inside leg. So lift up the right leg, left leg down, and all I'm going to do is jump towards you with that inside foot. So those are the band resisted jumps. Okay, so my last three of the series are more like priming exercises. So now that we've kind of got the athlete loosened up a little bit, um, we want to get them ready to, to actually perform. And so my first favorite one is, is a wicket keeper walk. Um, and so all we're going to do is take a, take a medium sized band and stand in it. And then we want to cross it over itself, try and pull it up nice and high. And all we're going to do is side shuffle. And it's going to open up or, uh, or try and prime those glutes a little bit. So we're just going to step, nice big steps to the side and back. And then the progression of that is to then take a really wide stance and try and walk forwards and backwards without letting those feet be pulled back in. So that's the wiki keeper walk. So the last exercise in the series here is a band resisted bound. The best way to do this one is to use a partner who's holding onto the band, but I'm going to show you how to do it without, without anyone. So we're going to set up the same way as the band resisted jump and step into the band. And then all we're going to do is kind of bounce. So you're going to try and jump as far as you can with one leg, land on the next, and jump again, and then stick your landing, okay? So starting on my left foot, then I'm going to come back and start on my right foot, and land, okay? So you can do that as far as you like. If you, want to, if you have a partner, you can bound out sort of 15 meters or so and just keep that stride length going, and your body is now working against resistance so it's really going to get activated when you then go to do it without any resistance at all. So that's the band resisted bound.